I'm out here in my yard and I wanted to take a picture of these flowers. It's very, very early for flowers to be blooming. It's the end of January here in Georgia. So we're having an extremely early blooming season because it's been so warm. But these flowers are gorgeous. And I have two problems. First problem is they are in a very harsh lighting condition. The sun is going down over here and the shadows are pretty harsh. So I want to diffuse the light so that I can still take the picture. And so what I've done is I, I have this little light umbrella. And you can use any umbrella or you can take a piece of white cloth and put it on a frame so that you you can clamp it onto, in this case, just a stick that I had laying around in the garage. And I'm just going to clamp it here. And this will block the light and give me a nice, uh, kind of like a bright, cloudy day. And then, my other issue is that the flowers grow down. I have to get under the flower or do something else to modify that situation. So what I've done is I've, I found this little stick it's just a branch that broke off of one of my trees. So I'm going to stick it behind the flower that this flower is actually just bloomed today. So I'm going to put it behind here and just into the dirt a little bit. And then I have one of these little chip holder, um, kind of a clothespin thing. And you can use a clothespin for this. And I'm just going to wrap it around my stick and pull the flower into position so that I can take this picture. Now I have another flower here that's kind of in the way, so I'm just putting that behind. So, okay, so now I have my flower positioned with uh, the little uh, clip on it, and I have a 50 millimeter lens on here, a Canon F1.4 50 millimeter lens. Uh, you can use your kit lens for this or uh, a macro lens anything that you have actually um, so now I have to get down here low enough so that I can see the inside of this flower I could get down on my belly but with the Canon Rebel the T3i you have this um, live view that you can use to focus and I am moving my live view so that I can view it here and now all I have to do is get the flower in focus and I can do that visually but I can also zoom in so that I can see a much clearer view of the focus and so I'm zooming into 5x and I can even go to 10x and see the minute details of the flower and then I'm going to brace against my leg and press the shutter button. And there it is. Okay, I've switched over to my Sigma 105 macro lens and um, I've used, I'm using my backpack as a bean bag or a tripod as it were so um, I can hold this steady because I've gotten it down to uh, F22 on the aperture, which is going to give me a lot of detail, which you need in macro shots, and um, fairly close, um, say a little less than a foot away from the flower. And again, I'm going to engage live view, and I'm using my manual focus. I'm zooming in to 5x and then 10x to really fine tune the focus. And when I have it focused, I'm just going to press the shutter button. And there's the inside of that flower. It's really pretty.